Hey guys, let's talk about Alexis S. Patterson. Alexis was born on April 4th, 1995 and has been missing since May 3rd, 2002 from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. At the time of her disappearance, she was 7 years old, 3 feet 8, and 42 pounds. She's an African-American female with black hair and brown eyes. Alexis has a scar below her right eye. She has a bump on her left pinky finger. Alexis' primary and secondary teeth are crowded and her gums are dark in color. Her ears are pierced. Her nicknames are Lexi and Pi. She is right-handed. Alexis resided with her mother and stepfather, Ayana and Laron Burgoy, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Laron walked Alexis to Highmount Boulevard School in the 4920 block of West Garfield Avenue near 49th Street at around 8 a.m. on May 3rd, 2002. Alexis was a first-grade student there. The school is less than one block from the family's home. Laron said that he watched Alexis walk toward the playground before he headed back to the residence. Alexis never attended classes during the day, although students reported seeing her crying on the playground before and after school. She has never been heard from again. Ayana and Laron were not notified about Alexis's absence until after her school dismissed in the afternoon. They initially believed she refused to attend classes because of an argument she had with her mother. Ayana said that Alexis failed to properly complete her homework during the previous evening. She was not allowed to bring cupcakes for her classmates the following day as a result. Authorities agreed with the scenario and said that something may have, may have caused Alexis's disappearance after she was seen in the school's playground later in the day. She does not have a history as a runaway and had a perfect attendance record at school prior to her disappearance. The surrounding areas were searched immediately after Alexis was reported missing. Investigators canvassed nearby Washington Park while, drive, while divers searched its lagoon. Authorities focused on areas near Maneki Avenue, Vine Street, 16th Street, and 60th Street in the northwest section of the city. No evidence was discovered at any of those locations. Investigators announced that Alexis disappeared under suspicious circumstances and reclassified her case from a missing child to a criminal investigation by May 14th. Some of Alexis' classmates told police that they had seen a red truck parked near the school for most of the week before her disappearance. The truck never dropped anyone off or picked anyone up, and it disappeared after Alexis vanished, never to be seen again. It has not been identified, and it is unknown if it's connected to her case. Alexis's father, Kenya Campbell, was in prison in Milwaukee at the time of her disappearance. He was released shortly afterwards and cooperated with authorities, as did Ayana and Laron. Alexis's stepfather has a criminal history as well, but investigators announced that they did not believe either Laron or Campbell's past were connected to her case. Laron failed a polygraph test after Alexis's disappearance and was charged in an unrelated crime in 2003, a year after Alexis vanished. He had a domestic dispute with Ayana, who had been trying to leave him for some time, and was ordered to stay away from her. Ayana described Laron as abusive and threatening towards her. The criminal charges were later dropped, however. Ayana and Laron divorced in 2005. Laron passed away in 2021 at the age of 52, apparently of a drug overdose. Foul play was suspected in Alexis's case. Her disappearance remains unsolved. If you have any information, please call the Milwaukee Police Department at 414-935-7401 or 414-935-7302 or the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Department at 414-278-4788.